So today I'm going to show you guys how to install a Mishimoto upgraded intercooler. What you're going to need is a trim tool, clip remover, and any toolbox that goes up to 10 millimeters. With the hood open, we're going to start with our clip remover tool. The first five is above this eyebrow. The next set of five is on the opposing side of the other eyebrow. Now the last couple of clips will be holding this radiator protector in. Now we can take our screwdriver and come behind the wheel well. And right where the fender meets the bumper, we have two screws. Now from this point forward, the only thing holding the bumper to the frame is going to be all of the clips underneath the car. So right there in this corner is a 10 millimeter. going to follow the line from the 10 millimeter to the other 10 millimeter and you can see the line of clips that we're going to have to remove to separate the bumper from the undercarrier of your car. This one, this one, and then so. This one is going to be a T30 bit. I'm going to remove it before I remove the clips. Now before we include the center clips, we have one two, three, four, which means we have another four on the other side and it looks like three in the middle. One was a 10 millimeter, the other was a T30. Two of them were clips. One more for the center piece. Here's the other T30. These are the last two clips before we handle the 10 millimeter. The last thing holding the bumper in is this 10 millimeter. So real quick, I thought I'd show you guys what I removed. Three down the middle, one, two, and three. Identical to the other side, there was a T30, two clips, and finally a 10 millimeter, right there. There are two clips holding the eyebrow in place. There's this hole and this hole. Using a pick tool, we're gonna press it down and pull outwards. So this is how the clip works. It looks just like this. When you push it down, pull out, it unlocks. We're gonna start on the right side of the bumper. Don't use anything other than plastic or you'll damage your bumper and the paint. So there's a couple things holding the intercooler in place. On the right side, there is one, two, three, and one of them being the bracket, so. The bottom 10 millimeter. We got the right side free. Let's move on to the left side.
yeah as i suspected the only hard bolt to reach is behind here it's gonna be the bracket oh there okay it's not bad at all The clips holding this top piece in are hiding so these are the only two that we need to remove look at the difference okay two things you need to make sure of when installing the new intercooler is that we swap over the old oem garments to the new one and our O-rings that Mishimoto supplied with the intercooler. It should look just like this and fit just like that. 